can I just start off by saying uh, thank you to everybody for coming. Um, we are absolutely delighted to be having the official opening of the Coach and Horses. It's uh, a fantastic transformation, if you like, of a, a really stunning and beautiful old coaching inn. So we're absolutely delighted that we're all here today. Um, I guess what I'd like to do is just say a quick few thank yous. Um, if I can pick out in sort of various batting order, um, I suppose first off, Northumberland County Council for all their support with the project, uh, to Historic England, who actually made all of this happen, it wouldn't have happened without them. Uh, the people at Admiral Taverns, I've got to call out people like Ian, who did a fantastic job in terms of the property development, and Stephen and Paul and others who have just actually made this whole thing come together. And last but definitely not least, Fiona, who is actually the person who does all the hard work once we've done the transformation and just handed it over. So it's brilliant to see this pub open trading and doing so well. And it would not have happened without that partnership of the council, Historic England, and ourselves obviously with Fiona. It just would not have happened. So I'm absolutely delighted we've been able to do this. And just a very quick story. This whole project actually started about 18 months ago. I don't know if you remember, Guy. We were sitting in the county, having a chat, uh, and Guy said to Fiona, I think at that point, you really should go and have a word because I think there's something here we could do about the yep. high street, and we could develop it, and we could regenerate this part of town, and that's when this whole story started. It took Steve about a year to persuade Fiona that it was a good idea to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that's where it all began, so it would not have happened without Guy's support either, so thank you very much indeed. I'll hand over. Thank you. Uh, so that for those of you that don't know me, my name is Richard Weemouth. I'm the Deputy Leader of the Northumberland County Council. Uh, it's great uh, to be uh, in Hexham and to see the wonderful job that's been done here by uh, the team. Uh, the building looks amazing uh, and of course it's one of the, the first of uh, a tranche of, of buildings in this part of Hexham. Uh, that will help to revitalise the high street to uh, improve the visitor experience. It's really great. Um, and uh, the council uh, has been uh, and will continue to be a, a strong partner for the town, uh, for, uh, for, for all uh, of those who want to see Hexham thrive. Uh, I think I started this project in a different portfolio. I think I was in charge of regeneration uh, and we were very keen to see this come forward and now I get to be in charge of the treasury management and finance and I get to have to pay for it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's um, a pleasure because you can see the, the end effect, it's brilliant. Thank you very much, thank you to all of the businesses, uh, especially uh, the one we're with, with here, uh, who've put uh, as well their time, effort and, and money into, and thank you to our partners, and I'll make sure I get it right, it's Heritage England. Historic, Historic England. <laughs> Not, yeah, you've changed your names more than Natural England <laughs> and <laughs> Highways England, English Highways, National Highways <laughs> put together. <laughs> Over to you. Thank you, thank you Richard. Uh, I'm Mike Collins and I work for Historic England, as Richard uh, says, and we're, we're really delighted to be here to celebrate the, the opening of one of the absolute key landmark buildings in the High Street Heritage Action Zone. To see this opening completed, to see the, the fruits is, is, is absolutely fantastic. Um, I suppose for Historic England, Hexham and the High Street Heritage Action Zone uh, has been a priority for a, for a, for a long time. And we have tended in the past to, to focus our work mainly on sort of higher grade designated heritage asset assets but I think our focus through things like the Heritage Action Zone it, it's about make, focusing on places where we can make more of a difference to, to people's lives putting people first um, and how, how heritage can serve the, the population that we're here to, 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 to serve which people value. Um, so yes uh, this is one of the key buildings in, the, um, uh, in, in, in the, the building grants part of that Heritage Action Zone but alongside also the public realm and the cultural program being delivered through Queen's Hall which I think, you know, as you know, both people have already said, should be transformative really for the uh, for the high street exit. So we're really proud to have done our part, uh, and, but I want to pay tribute to the hard work of the staff uh, of, of Northumberland County Council and the support from members and from, from Guy as, as our MP, um, but also to Admiral, you know, in working together to bring forward this 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 the key flag, flagship project. It's that, in many ways, this feels to me like um, a fantastic example of public and private partnership uh, to create the you know, success of the project and that sort of whole, that, that's behind the whole ethos of the High Street Heritage Action Zone. So I'm very much looking forward to coming back in the future to, to Hexham and seeing all of that work uh, 
bearing fruit, but this is a fantastic start, and I'm so pleased to, uh, to, to see it. Can, can I just add a couple of words? So I think we'll all be back, uh, probably drinking more than we are today, because <laughs> we're all working today, but I think of an evening having a pint and or a glass of wine, I just, I think the, the, the points are well made, that this is a collective effort. There is a, there's no way this would happen without the work of so many different partners, locally, nationally, central government funding, local authority support. And, and if you're going to crack the issue of the high street on a long-term basis, this is a good road test for what you're trying to do. Because you're not gonna fix it with just an individual building here or individual intervention there. You have to work across various different authorities, various different boundaries to make sure that we do that. And the bit I would take away from this is that, yes, this is amazing. Yes, we're celebrating this, but this should be the start of a lot, lot more. And that we should be looking at this community on an incremental basis about how we can actually build upon this. Because it's with individual landlords, it's working with individual organisations that you will do this. Which is, you know, the greater good is you get a thriving long-term vision for a market town that we all love and adore. And that's what we're trying to do. But listen, massive applause to one and all of you. Give yourselves a big round of applause. It's really hard to cut these. I've done these before. <laughs> But it's really hard to cut. Okay. All right. Three, two, one. Looking this way, everyone. Looking this way. Hey!